Hey everyone, welcome back to Immortal News. Today we're taking a look at the lives of some remarkable people who recently passed away. We also have a sad update regarding Adele. As always at Immortal News, we want to remember those who've made a difference. If their stories hit you in the feels, give the video a thumbs up. Let's share some respect and remember the amazing people we've lost. Number 10. Chris Mortensen, a longtime NFL reporter for ESPN, passed away at the age of 72. Mortensen was a fixture on ESPN for over 30 years, known for his in-the-know reporting and passion for the game. He was a regular on shows like Sunday NFL Countdown and the NFL Draft, keeping fans up to date on all the latest happenings in the league. He wasn't just great at his job, though. Mortensen was also known for being a genuinely nice guy. Colleagues and fans alike have been sharing stories about his kindness and generosity, highlighting what a great person he was beyond the sports world. Mortensen stepped away from ESPN in 2023 to focus on his health and family after battling cancer. He'll be deeply missed by everyone who knew him. Tributes are already pouring in, with fellow broadcasters and players remembering Mortensen for his dedication, professionalism, and friendly personality. While he may be gone, Chris Mortensen's legacy will live on. He'll be remembered for his contributions to sports journalism, his love for the game, and the positive impact he had on everyone he met. Our thoughts are with Mortensen's family and loved ones during this difficult time. Rest in peace, Mort. Tributes to Chris Mortensen. Number 9. Mark Dodson, the voice behind some of our favorite movie characters, passed away at the age of 64. You might know him from his iconic roles in Star Wars and Gremlins. His voice career spanned a whopping four decades. He wasn't just in movies. His unique voice brought characters to life in video games, commercials, and even cartoons. Fans loved meeting him at conventions around the world, and he was always happy to chat. Remember that creepy, cuddly Mogwai Gizmo from Gremlins? Yeah, he voiced some of those. He also brought life to Salacious Crumb, the giggling alien sidekick of Jabba the Hutt in Return of the Jedi. Pretty cool, right? His family and friends remember him as a kind and talented person who loved his fans. His daughter said he was always so proud to make them happy, and his legacy will definitely live on through his family and the characters he created. While we're sad to see him go, his characters will continue to entertain us for years to come. Fans and colleagues are already sharing their love and memories online, remembering the joy he brought to the world. Tributes to Mark Dodson. Number 8. Jazz legend Eleanor Collins passed away peacefully at the amazing age of 104. Nicknamed Canada's First Lady of Jazz, Miss Collins leaves behind a musical legacy that stretches back over 80 years. Born in Edmonton in 1919, Miss Collins started wowing audiences with her incredible voice back in the 1930s. From TV shows to radio broadcasts, she shared her unique style across the country. She even jammed with jazz greats like Dizzy Gillespie and Oscar Peterson, proving her talent on the national stage. But Miss Collins was more than just a singer. She was a trailblazer. In 1955, she made history with her own national TV show, The Eleanor Show, becoming one of the first black artists in North America to do so. On top of that, she was also the first Canadian woman to ever host her own TV series, breaking down barriers and inspiring future generations. Her amazing career and dedication to social progress earned her many awards. In 2014, she received the Order of Canada, and in 2022, Canada Post even honored her with her own stamp. Eleanor Collins' legacy is one of incredible talent, hard work, and making a difference. Her voice not only filled hearts with joy, but it also helped pave the way for others. She'll be deeply missed by her family, friends, and countless fans worldwide. Our thoughts are with Miss Collins' family during this difficult time. As Canadians and music lovers around the world remember her life and achievements, tributes continue to pour in, 
celebrating her incredible contributions to music and society, tributes to Eleanor Collins. Number seven, the Philippines mourns the loss of renowned actress Jacqueline Jose, who passed away at the age of 59. While the cause of passing hasn't been made public, her legacy as a talented and influential figure in Philippine cinema will be long remembered. Born Mary Jane Santa Anaguk in 1964, her career began in 1984. She quickly captured audiences with her captivating performances in films like Chicas and Private Show. Her exceptional talent was recognized early on, earning her nominations at the prestigious Famous Awards. Throughout her illustrious career, she collaborated with legendary directors like Lino Bracca and starred in critically acclaimed films like White Slavery. Her dedication to her craft was rewarded with numerous awards, including Gawad Urien and Luna Awards, solidifying her position as one of the Philippines' most celebrated actresses. Her influence extended beyond the silver screen, she captivated viewers in popular television series like Mula Sapuso and Nagsimula Sapuso, showcasing her versatility as an actress. In 2016, she made history by becoming the first Filipino actress to win the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her role in Ma Rosa, directed by Brillante Mendoza. This momentous achievement cemented her place as a global icon of Philippine cinema. As recognition for her lasting impact, she received the Movie Icon Award at the Eddies in 2023. Jacqueline Jose leaves behind a remarkable legacy and a lasting mark on Philippine cinema. Her groundbreaking achievements and the inspiration she provided to countless aspiring actors will continue to resonate for generations. Our thoughts are with her children, Andy Eigenman and Gwen Garamond Iligan Gook, as they mourn this tremendous loss. The world joins the Philippines in celebrating the life and career of Jacqueline Jose, a true legend of the silver screen. Tributes to Jacqueline Jose. Number 6. The vibrant community of San Diego mourns the passing of Scott Nelson, also known as Murrigan the Mystic, a beloved sword swallower and entertainer. He sadly passed away at the age of 59 after a courageous battle with cancer. Murrigan captivated audiences for over 20 years with his mesmerizing sword-swallowing performances. His talent and charisma brought joy to countless people, making him a true icon in the San Diego community. His dedication to his craft extended beyond sword swallowing. He was a skilled busker, actor, and all-around entertainer who brought a smile to everyone's face. He was known for his vibrant personality and his genuine passion for his art. Many remember Scott not just for his performances, but also for his kind spirit and positive attitude. He faced his challenges head-on, including a risky experience last year from a dangerous stunt. Despite the risks, he expressed his unwavering love for his craft and his intention to continue performing. His passing leaves a void in the hearts of his many fans and friends. He will be deeply missed but never forgotten. His legacy as a talented and dedicated entertainer will continue to inspire others. Our thoughts are with his family and loved ones during this difficult time. If you were inspired by Scott or wish to support his family, you can visit his GoFundMe page. Tributes to Scott Nelson. Number 5. The world of medicine and public health mourns the loss of Dr. Howard Hyatt, who passed away at the age of 98. His life and career were dedicated to improving health care and promoting well-being, leaving behind a remarkable legacy of innovation and compassion. His journey began in New York, where he overcame early challenges to pursue his passion for medicine. He graduated from Harvard Medical School in 1948 and went on to conduct groundbreaking research at the Pasteur Institute in Paris. His work played a critical role in identifying messenger RNA, a crucial discovery that paved the way for future medical advancements like mRNA vaccines. 
Throughout his distinguished career, he held leadership positions at Harvard Medical School and Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital. He was known for his innovative approaches to healthcare, focusing on serving the needs of underserved communities and promoting global health equity. He also advocated for preventative measures and challenged the dangers of the nuclear arms race, underlining the importance of a holistic approach to health and well-being. His contributions to the field of medicine have had a profound and lasting impact. He inspired generations of healthcare professionals to prioritize social responsibility and strive for global health equity. His passing leaves a void in the medical community, but his legacy of dedication, innovation, and compassion will continue to inspire future generations. Tributes to Howard Hyatt. Number 4. Former Major League Baseball shortstop UL Washington passed away at the age of 70. He is remembered for his eight seasons with the Kansas City Royals and his brief stints with the Montreal Expos and the Pittsburgh Pirates. He was also known for playing with a toothpick in his mouth, a unique quirk that became a part of his image. While his career was largely spent with the Kansas City Royals, Washington made valuable contributions to the Pittsburgh Pirates during the 1986 and 1987 seasons. He ultimately retired from professional baseball in 1987. His legacy extends beyond his on-field performance. He served as an inspiration to many, demonstrating dedication and hard work throughout his career. Our thoughts are with his family and friends during this difficult time. As the baseball community mourns his passing, Many are remembering him for his contributions to the game and his positive impact on those around him. Tributes to UL Washington. Number three. The Fresno State football community mourns the loss of legendary running back Dale Messer, who passed away at the age of 86. His legacy at Fresno State is undeniable. As one of only nine athletes to have their jersey retired, his impact on the program is deeply woven into its history. He donned the iconic number 21 and became the first player to receive this prestigious honor. His brilliance on the field was undeniable. A two-time All-American, he captivated fans with his talent and dedication throughout his collegiate career, graduating in 1961. His success extended beyond college. He went on to play professionally for the San Francisco 49ers for five seasons, showcasing his exceptional skills at the NFL level. His achievements were recognized beyond the gridiron. He was inducted into the Fresno County Sports Hall of Fame in 1969 and the College of the Sequoias Hall of Fame solidifying his place among sporting legends. The impact of his legacy continues to resonate. The only other player to wear the retired number 21 jersey at Fresno State was running back Ryan Matthews in 2007, a testament to the high regard Messer is held in. Head coach Jeff Tedford expressed his condolences, stating, It is a sad day to lose such a great bulldog and a great representative of the Fresno State football program. Dale embodied everything that is Fresno State football and his accomplishments and legacy will be remembered in our program forever. Our thoughts are with his family and friends during this difficult time. As the Fresno State community joins the world in mourning, his legacy of dedication, talent, and sportsmanship will continue to inspire future generations. Tributes to Dale Messer. Number 2. The Romanian cultural world mourns the passing of renowned writer and theater figure Dinu Sararu, who passed away at the age of 92. He leaves behind a rich legacy as a playwright, director, novelist, and essayist. He had a distinguished career, serving as the director of the National Theater. He was celebrated for his novels exploring the lives of Romanian peasants such as Some Peasants, Love and Revolution, and Klipa, which gained him recognition before the fall of communism in 1989. Throughout his life, he received numerous honors, including the Cultural Merit Medal, the National Order Star of Romania, and the National Award of the Ministry of Culture. 
These accolades reflect the significant impact he had on Romanian culture. He will be remembered for his dedication to his craft, his contributions to the Romanian theater scene, and his captivating exploration of themes relevant to his homeland. Our thoughts are with his family and loved ones during this difficult time. As the Romanian cultural community mourns his passing, tributes are pouring in to celebrate his remarkable life and artistic legacy. Tributes to Dinu Sararu. Today's top headlines. News 1. Adele has announced the postponement of her Las Vegas residency dates for March due to illness affecting her voice. The celebrated singer conveyed the disappointing news through Instagram, citing health issues and doctor's orders to rest. Fans of the Easy On Me artist will have to wait for rescheduled performances as Adele and her team work on new dates. This setback follows previous delays in her residency due to production challenges and COVID-19. Adele expressed her love for her fans and regret for any inconvenience caused, promising to return to the stage as soon as she recovers. News 2. Under a heavy police presence in Moscow, thousands gathered to honor Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition leader, at his funeral following his mysterious passing in an Arctic penal colony. The ceremony, which saw attendees chanting against Putin and the war in Ukraine, marked a significant moment of public dissent. Despite the large turnout, Police did not intervene. Navalny's passing prompted international concern and a struggle by his family to secure the release of his body, reflecting the contentious relationship between the Kremlin and its critics. Navalny, remembered for his fight against corruption and advocacy for a free Russia, leaves behind a legacy of resistance amidst political repression. News 3. California is grappling with a historic blizzard unleashing life-threatening conditions across the state, with snow accumulation potentially reaching 12 feet and wind gusts surging past 190 miles per hour, far exceeding Category 5 hurricane speeds. The relentless storm, now in its third day, has forced the closure of hundreds of miles of highways, stranding travelers and leaving thousands without power. Authorities emphasize the danger, advising residents to avoid travel and remain indoors. The blizzard, impacting not only California, but also parts of Nevada, Utah, and Colorado, represents one of the most severe weather events in recent years, challenging even seasoned residents with its intensity. News 4. Jake Paul continues to silence his critics by achieving his second consecutive first-round knockout, this time defeating Ryan Borland in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Demonstrating effective strategy with jabs and body shots, Paul swiftly dominated the bout, leading to a stoppage by referee Luis Pabon. The victory solidified Paul's commitment to boxing, as he now eyes bigger challenges, teasing a potential showdown with Canelo Alvarez. With a professional record of 9, 1, including victories over notable fighters, Paul is earnestly carving out a space for himself in the boxing world, moving beyond his internet persona to establish credibility in the ring. News 5 Hundreds of structures in Texas have succumbed to flames as the largest wildfire in the state's history, the Smokehouse Creek Fire, engulfs over one million acres. Despite a slight respite from rain and snow, which aided firefighters in containing 15% of the blaze, the danger persists with more critical weather anticipated. Governor Greg Abbott revealed an estimated 400 to 500 buildings were destroyed, labeling the damage as utter devastation. The community reels from the loss, including two fatalities and injuries among firefighters. As the region braces for further elevated fire weather conditions, officials and President Joe Biden pledge continued support, emphasizing unity in the face of disaster. News 6. Bella Thorne shares a heartfelt mental health update with her followers, candidly discussing her current struggles. The 26-year-old actress emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and expressing emotions, challenging the often misleading portrayal of perfection on social media. Thorne encourages regular mental health check-ins to prevent reaching a breaking point, reminding everyone that it's normal to experience imperfection and emotional ups and downs. Having opened up about her own battles with depression and dyslexia in the past, Thorne continues to inspire with her transparency, urging others to hold space for their feelings and embrace life's realities. News 7, Martin Scorsese, the acclaimed director, recently opened up about his wife, Helen Morris, 
and her 30-year battle with Parkinson's disease on the Sirius XM podcast, This Life of Mine with James Corden. Scorsese, 81, praised Morris for her incredible strength and fortitude in facing the progressive nerve disorder that affects movement and speech. As Morris's condition has progressed, Scorsese admitted it influences his film projects and acknowledged his own aging process. Despite these challenges, Scorsese expressed admiration for Morris's resilience and positive outlook on life, underscoring the deep impact of her journey on their family. The director, who has a storied career in Hollywood, reflected on the possibility that each new film could be his last, but remains hopeful to continue his passion for filmmaking as long as possible. Number one, the music world mourns the loss of Ernest Bilbo Berger, the original drummer of the disco group Heatwave. He passed away at the age of 73 from a cardiac arrest, according to his wife, Grace. Born in what was then Czechoslovakia, he rose to fame as the rhythmic backbone of Heatwave. He played drums on all of the band's greatest hits, including Boogie Wonderland, Always and Forever, and The Groove Line. His precise drumming and infectious energy helped propel Heatwave to international success in the 1970s and early 1980s. He was a beloved member of the band and known for his dedication to his craft. While details surrounding his passing are still emerging, the news of his passing has sent shockwaves through the music community. Many musicians and fans have taken to social media to share their condolences and celebrate his legacy. Ernest Bilbo Berger will be remembered for his significant contributions to the world of disco music and his enduring impact on generations of music lovers. Our thoughts are with his family and friends during this difficult time. Tributes to Ernest Bilbo Berger.